Well, following this weekend's incident, we saw those protests again getting violent. A protester seriously hurt after they were shot in the head with a projectile. Local lawmakers over the weekend really amped up their criticism of the federal response to the demonstrations we're seeing in Portland. So joining us live this morning to talk more about it is U.S. Attorney for the Oregon District, Billy Williams. Thank you so much for joining us because I know that people have a lot of questions. Good morning. Pleasure to be here. So let's kind of just get right to it. Are there any new developments or comments from the U.S. Attorney's Office about the incident where a protester was hit in the head? And what form of less lethal round did the officers use? Was it a rubber bullet or something else? Well, first, let me start that uh, with the fact that no one wants to see anyone injured. I, I saw the video um, of what happened to this young man Saturday morning, and uh, I was just as concerned as anyone else was. Um, the matter's being investigated um, by the U.S. Marshal Service, uh, and, and they'll review protocols. Uh, we will review whether or not there are any um, uh, potential charges to be uh, laid, but um, um, we've got to wait for that investigation. But uh, no one wants anyone injured. Um, and again, I've seen the video a number of times and I share those concerns and my condolences go out to this young man and his family because we don't want people hurt. This has been going on. Uh, for what, 45, 46 days. And, and uh, to go back to the other part of your original question, this is a less lethal round. Um, I, I don't know the technical term for the round at this point that'll come out through the investigation, but um, obviously there are protocols and policies in place about the uh, use of uh, this particular kind of less lethal force and so um, uh, as in in any case where there's a, a use of force it needs to be reviewed uh, are you able to share anything billy uh, about this i know this particular incident is still under investigation are you able to share any updates in that investigation is the federal agent that deployed that round still out at these demonstrations uh, that i don't know i doubt it uh, that the agent is, um, so I don't have the exact uh, answer to that, but I have my doubts that the person would be. Um, uh, so that's that's an incomplete answer, but that's what I know at this point. Sure. Is there anything else about this particular incident in the investigation that you're able to share publicly at this time? No, not at this time. I mean, I, I'm, I'm happy to talk about other questions related to the presence of federal agents uh, in Portland, the questions that have been raised. Yeah, I think uh, that's so. kind of the, the next thing that we wanted to get into was just situationally here. Right, because, you know, sure. we kind of understand what Portland police bases their decisions off of, but what type of situations are federal agents allowed to use force? Well, well, let me start with the context of why we have them here. Okay, so shortly after the very first uh, weekend of events downtown and uh, damage directed at the Justice Center and the Hatfield Courthouse and the Pioneer Courthouse, as, as well as a couple of other federal properties, it's our responsibility to take care of those properties. So we've had... Uh, a presence uh, on, a, on a rotating basis of agencies helping uh, the U.S. Marshal Service and the Federal Protective Service in protecting these properties. And we've tried to take a very measured approach, um, a very defensive approach of, of being inside the buildings. And, and um, that changed somewhat about a week ago, uh, uh, a week ago Friday evening when um, the individual who was later arrested broke uh, the front doors. I mean, already uh, throughout the last month and a half, there had been substantial damage to the courthouse. It's been boarded up, windows have been broken, and plywood was put up, and this individual was arrested when he was trying to uh, uh, take down and did uh, damage the two front doors. Um, so following that, if if there is a misdemeanor or felony occurring that is uh, 
observed um, by individuals in the building, um, those individuals uh, will be arrested. Um, we can't let that kind of violence that's directed towards uh, federal agents go on. And I, by that, the violence includes lasers uh, to, their, to their eyes that, that in, in some cases can cause permanent damage. Yeah, and, we, we uh, have seen things agent. ending uh, here kind of violently uh, uh, many nights with these small groups downtown. Uh, Billy, we're almost out of time, but I do want to ask you this because I think it's important. Uh, we saw, you know, Mayor Wheeler, Governor Brown, uh, several lawmakers uh, speak out pretty harshly about the incidents this weekend. I'm curious if, if you have a response to that criticism, and then also what do you think about where we go from here? How do we de-escalate the violence we are now seeing on an almost nightly basis? course. So I, I understand the criticism. And I joined Mayor Wheeler, uh, who I spoke with last night. Um, I, I joined him in his ask for a change in direction. We, we need to have the violence stop. Um, uh, uh, businesses downtown are badly affected by it. Um, and and the, the, the damage to these public structures is just unacceptable. It, it takes away from the message of people seeking social and racial change. And so I joined the mayor in his ask that we work together, come together as a community, because right now people are afraid to come downtown. And that just can't go on. Uh, the, the, the damage and, and the violence just has to stop. How that happens is, is up to this community. So um, whatever we can do to join in those measures, uh, we want to do that. Uh, so uh, we've got to work together to address this, but the violence simply has to stop. It makes no sense and put people's, it puts people's lives at risk. Yeah. Uh, U.S. Attorney for the Oregon District, Billy Williams. Billy, we appreciate your time this morning. Thanks for joining us.